Happy Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Stop the wave. Stop the wave. Stop the wave. Stop the wave. One, two, three, four, let's get this started. Hello, 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 it's your girl Isha here, uh, Carnival Sin, Chief of Events by Ashe and co-founder of Ultimate Trinidad Carnival, Ultimate Crop Over and the Eat Dance Travel Series. And I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Hope you are well, hope you are safe wherever you are in your part of the world. And we are gonna get started. If you're watching, leave me a comment, say hello. Say hi, tell me how you're doing, what's going on, where are you watching from, whether you're in New York, Toronto, uh, London, wherever you are, drop me a note, let me know where you are, where you're watching from. So today's topic, we're talking about cooking classes, interestingly enough. And I only bring this up because I was thinking about, probably a few weeks ago, ways that I've been able to keep my Caribbean culture alive, you know, living in Durham, North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> and one of those ways is through food. And of course, with the pandemic, not able to go out as much as we normally would and connect with other people around Caribbean culture. So cooking classes are a great way to keep all of that going. So I'm going to talk about the why and how you can get in, in it to win it. But first, let me give you a detox update because... I started my detox last weekend. If you watched me a couple of weeks ago, two Facebook Fridays, um, Facebook Friday lives ago, I talked about starting the detox and then I was going to start the detox the next day. So I did start it last Saturday and it's been going well. So physically, definitely feeling less tired, which is amazing. <laughs> Honestly, it's been really amazing. I've been able to not have the afternoon slump as much this week you know when you need to have coffee or you need to have tea or get up and walk from your desk or whatever where your brain is just starting to fog up um i feel that i haven't really experienced that as much this week which has been awesome um mentally i feel like uh, let me go back to physical i definitely have done more exercise um this week i'm a little bit behind but over the weekend i was exercising last week i was exercising so i went for my walk i did my yoga this week um i'm three out of five exercise times so far so um saturday and sunday i'll have to make up for it somehow all right so that's physically going well mentally i feel like my mind has been clearer it has just been really 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 good um definitely and the biggest change of all has been my sleep i have been getting more sleep and better quality sleep definitely um yes that's been really really good so i find even if i do go to bed late i still have to get up early my quality of sleep is better. So when I wake up, I'm, even though I've had five, six hours of sleep, I'm still not feeling as tired as I did before the detox. I don't know how that makes any sense, but it says that's one of the benefits of the program. So I am experiencing <laughs> the benefits. Um, so yeah, that's my little update. So we're seven days in right now. I will continue to provide updates over the next 21 days because I am going to do it for 21 days. I'm going to stick it out do it do it do it and stick to it so yes um if you wanted to find out about the detox program the clean program leave me a comment in the um comments below the video and let me know and i'll send you some more information but going well so far so good all right okay so let's talk about these cooking glasses okay 
So there's three reasons in my mind, at least, that I think cooking classes are a good thing, especially with everything that's going on. You know, lockdown, staying at home. Many of us are staying at home still um, to help keep others safe and for our own personal reasons. Of course, travel isn't really happening. So here are the three reasons that in my mind, I think. Okay, so first of all, doing an online cooking class, and there are some people who are opening up in person, socially distanced cooking classes as well. So you might want to look out for those. Um, it's a good way to stay connected, you know, instead of zoning out, watching, you know, Netflix, staying isolated, we are human beings and we do need some interaction to certain levels, you know, on the introvert extrovert scale, right? But all of us need some kind of, um, good human interaction and a cooking class is a good way to do that. Virtually you are, um, connecting with others, connecting with whoever's preparing the meal, you know, it's a really just a really good way, a good low pressure way to stay connected. You know, you're it's not on you to keep the conversation going online, which can be awkward sometimes, but you know, it's a it's a good way to stay connected, a good low pressure way to stay connected. So number 2, you get the chance to learn something new and use a creative part of your brain. Whether you are a, a chef yourself, <laughs> you know, um, or you're somebody who really need, wants to learn how to cook or needs to learn how to cook, a cooking class, an online interactive cooking class is a really good way to use another creative part of your brain. You know, hopefully you're watching someone who is entertaining and entertaining you at the same time. Like I do during my online cooking classes, I'm dancing along to soca music and, you know, chatting it up <laughs> as I usually do um, during my cooking classes. So you're using another part of your brain, you know, you're measuring ingredients, you're chopping up stuff, you're, you're using your senses, you know, with smelling the delicious things cooking, you know, and you're using your brain in a different way. So that's really what cooking is for me. It's a create a very, very good creative outlet for me. I enjoy to cook and I find it's a good way to connect, stay connected with others as well. And I enjoy, you know, watching people eat my food. So <laughs> it gives me a lot of enjoyment all around, you know, not just the cooking, not just the preparing, um, but also seeing others enjoy my food. I really, really love that. So that's just me. All right. And the third thing, and this kind of ties back to number two, but with travel out of the country, uh, out of the question for many of us at this point, it's a cooking class or an online cooking class is a great way to bring a different culture by way of food into your home, into your kitchen. And you also get to try different foods, you know, for me personally. And as I said, um, this thought and doing this Facebook live came up, um, came up for me when um, I was thinking about how have I kept my Caribbean culture alive? And definitely one of those ways is through food, you know, cooking recipes that my mom taught me that was passed down from her mother, from her mother and from her mother, you know, um, it, it's definitely been a way for me to keep my Caribbean culture alive and bringing online cooking classes directly to you from home is a way for you to experience different cultures without leaving your house, really. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have leftovers. This is probably reason 3.5. <laughs> then you have leftovers of whatever you cooked, okay? Because typically online cooking classes, it's two to four servings. So you have leftovers, unless you have a family like mine. I make four servings and then it's done and you don't have leftovers. But maybe you don't have a family like mine and that doesn't happen to you. If not, good, then you will have leftovers. That's reason 3.5. So that was a bonus tip for why you should do online cooking classes, okay? All right, so uh, let me see if there's any comments, guys. And again, uh, comment, say hi, say what's up if you're watching, if you're enjoying <laughs> what I'm talking about. All right, so let's keep going here. We, where can you find cooking classes, online cooking classes? So there are quite a few of them out there. Um, some diversity in terms of the types of food that people are cooking. Some of them are more on the fine dining and some are more in the casual family style. And, you know, it's just just comes down to looking for them and where to find them. So I have found personally that Eventbrite is a great resource for looking for online cooking classes. If you go to eventbrite.com 
and type in their search field, online cooking classes, or even just cooking classes, a whole bunch of stuff will come up right now because of course, a lot of chefs are trying to pivot, a lot of restaurants are trying to pivot um, through the coronavirus pandemic. So that's a really great place to look for online cooking classes. You might also want to Google local chefs in your area. Chances are they are doing an online cooking class. So if you wanted to keep it local, try to support your restaurants and chefs who are local to you, then um, Googling by location, you know, chefs in your location might be a good way to find some cooking classes that are online cooking classes that are available. Or even if you're brave enough, some in-person social distancing cooking classes, they do have those available. Um, I just saw a few um, uh, last week, so they definitely have those. Uh, so I have three local things. So local to me in Durham, North Carolina and the general North Carolina area. Um, to share with you to check out. And the first one is Chef Lamar. So back in July, I did a video where I talked about our anniversary dinner, which was awesome. <laughs> so Chef Lamar was the chef who made that happen for our anniversary. And he is doing online cooking classes from time to time. So um, in the description to this video, I am going to put a link to his website on Eventbrite where he posts his cooking classes. So if you happen to want to check out a chef who does things with a little bit of a Caribbean flair, um, he kind of rethinks traditional Italian, I mean, any genre, you know, he's very, a very, very talented chef and kind of gives it a little Caribbean flair and it always tastes good. I mean, he definitely has flavors on lock. So you might want to check out Chef Lamar. Another local chef who is doing really big things online is Chef Natasha, my girl, Natasha. She does a weekly conversations with food um, Facebook live. And I will put the link to her Facebook page here so you guys can check her out. She does it every Wednesday at seven o'clock, I believe. And what she does is she has a guest. So first they talk, you know, for the first 20 minutes or so, they'll talk, uh, talk about the guest that she has on. And the topics are ranging in many different fields, not just food. Um, she's had authors on there, public speakers on there, uh, financial advisors on her show. So she does that every single week. And then the last half of the program, she actually cooks live a dish um, for you. So it's a good place to get a little bit of chatting and a little bit of eating. <laughs> and you could always reference her Facebook Lives if you you know, didn't have the ingredients at the time or you weren't ready at the time to go back and get the ingredients and then kind of follow along, you can do that. And then she also has monthly cooking classes outside of her conversations with food Facebook Live um, that are really, really wonderful. And she does a variety of themes for her cooking classes. So for example, she has a class that's coming up that's um, for people with disabilities, cooking with people with disabilities and tips on how to do that better. And you do make a dish with her. Uh, she also has a farmer's market um, uh, cooking class coming up. And that's, you know, using the bounty of your local farmer's market uh, you know, in the fall, there's a lot, lots of great root vegetables and things that are coming out or are, are already out because it is September um, and how to cook with them. So definitely check out my girl, Natasha. She has a lot going on from an online cooking perspective as well. And then last but certainly not least, there's Caribbean Cooking Live with me. Yay! And that is a monthly cooking class as well. And this month, actually next weekend, which is uh, September the 26th, I believe the date is, I am making my jerkish chicken, my world famous, yes, I said it, jerkish chicken. <laughs> and you do not want to miss that because I tell you, I've made this jerkish chicken many, many times and I usually make it as it's a really good recipe to easily double and triple if you have entertaining, if you're entertaining people who are coming over or whatever. And I made it for so many different people from many different walks of life. Like when Tarek has had his work team over, of course, this was pre-COVID. When do we use to entertain? <laughs> Um, yes, he's had work colleagues over, you know, I've had friends over and I've made that jerkish chicken for them and I've gotten so many compliments on it over the years. I'm definitely not going to claim that I know how to make the real jerk, okay? If you're Jamaican and you're watching this, no, 
I'm not claiming that, all right? Jerk-ish chicken is what it's called. It does have jerk flavors in it. If you don't like heat too much, it's a perfect recipe for you because I don't make it super spicy, but of course you can adjust the heat as you would like. Um, but it's just a really super easy dish to make and it's a real crowd pleaser, as I said, I really love it. And I am going to make it with rice and peas, of course, on the side. You cannot have jerk anything and not have rice and peas. We're going to have the gravy of that delicious jerkish chicken over that rice and peas. And I'm thinking the other side is going to be some steamed cabbage because I love me some cabbage. And that would just be a good thing to do, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So that will be my uh, September cooking class. And every single month, I am definitely going to be doing one. So there's an experience for you that is very culturally themed. So if you wanted to learn more about cooking Caribbean food or just learn how to cook Caribbean food in general, then you need to join me next weekend. I hope to see you there. So I will uh, put the links to all of these resources in the description to this video and definitely check them out, guys. You know, I definitely believe in supporting local small businesses like um, Chef Lamar, Chef Natasha that I mentioned before. And of course, my own, you know, got to put a little plug for yourself. <laughs> But a co online cooking class, you know, it's, these are all really good ways to get creative, get your hands busy, get your body moving, get your brain working and staying connected with people because it is so, so easy to become disconnected throughout this pandemic. OK, you know, even even if you live alone or if you don't live alone, it's, it's becoming really easy for us to just be um, continue to be disconnected. And these are all really good ways to just stay connected and stay in there and hang in there. And I, in general, I want to encourage you to be creative during this time. You know, it helps with the stir craziness that all of us are feeling right now and the isolation that we might all be feeling. So I really encourage you to, to do creative things, you know, turn off the Netflix, you know, grab a book if, you, if you're into reading, pick up a new hobby. This is a perfect time to pick up something new. For myself, you know, reading definitely gets me into that creative zone where my brain is just, you know, imagining what things kind of look like based on the book. And as if you've been following me, then you know I love to sew. So sewing is a really big creative outlet for me in terms of, you know, uh, choosing colors and fabrics and then using my machine. It just gets my brain working, gets that different part of my brain working out of sitting in front of a computer on Zoom meetings day after day, you know? So yeah, I, I definitely encourage you to get creative and, and be creative during this time. All right, guys? Okay, let's see if we have any comments. Okay, we don't have any comments, which is cool. It's okay. I know you're watching, but if you don't wanna say hi, it's okay. <laughs> No worries. So guys, I am going to put links to everything that I mentioned in this video in the description. So once again, just feel free to support the local small businesses that we have here. As always, it's your girl Isha and till the next line. Thanks for watching. <laughs>